Ready? <laughs> and we're back for Ross Telecom Cup, Cup of Russia. We are here. Figure skating happened. It actually happened. There was an event. There was lots going on. Yeah, an actual kind of international event too. This wasn't actually all Russia, although it still was the, very much the Russia show. The Empress Strikes Back. Tuktumayasheva is at the top of the podium amongst the ladies in Russia. Trusova falters uh, quite badly in the short and the long. Kolyada takes the win, no surprise there, on his charge towards the World Championships, should that happen. And we have an audience of real people, in fact, over 1,200. But, like, kind of why, though? <laughs> is it necessary? Is it really Let's start off with the women. Uh, in first place, we have Elizaveta Tutumasheva, second, Elena Kostodanaya, and third, Anastasia Gulekova. And in fourth, off the podium in what seems like forever in her short career, Alexander Trosova. Let's start Same. with Trosova and then like work our way back. So um, we were just singing her praises last week uh, at the Grand Prix, at the, at the Russia Cups, where we're like, she is on fire. For what reason? We don't know why, but we love it. Uh, and, then she, <laughs> <laughs> and then she came out here and uh, had a fall and a downgrade on the triple axle in the short, coming into the free program, uh, fall on three quads and a triple lutz. Um, just not looking like herself that she has been leading up to this uh, one international Grand Prix. I don't know that we've seen her have a meltdown like that before. I feel like she had one last year. When, uh, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. She did have one last year. It's, I mean, it's pretty amazing that they happen that rarely given how hard our programs are. Yeah. You know, I think we've just become accustomed to her just doing all this crazy stuff and we're like, yeah, 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 she's a wind-up toy, it's fine, yeah. she'll do it all. Um, but she's a human being. Yeah, she's a human being who is also 16, so she is still very, very young. What I really like is that she attacked the whole program and still kept going for the quads, even though it clearly was not her day. Every failure is still a growth in my book, and I think she'll come back. She's valuable good. learning experience for sure. Yeah. Um, second place, uh, Kostanaya, uh, skating. Uh, two pretty good programs, a uh, little problems in her free uh, with some under rotations on jumps, uh, doubling a plan, triple, triple. Again, no triple axle. Uh, she, it looked so money for her last year. And you think going uh, over to Plushenko, who is like pretty much a master of triple axle and he also has uh, his backup coaches, that sexy Sergey guy, that's what they call him. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but no, no triple axle, which is very interesting. And I think this was what led to her actually getting bested by Tuktumasheva. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, you know, sometimes switching coaches to rebuild, you have to go backwards. Um, I'm not really sure why anyone would touch her triple axle as it was quite spectacular, but the double still looks amazing. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. I think we have to have uh, flexible expectations of these kids <laughs> as we watch them right. develop. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. They are all still children. And we're like, where is it? Where's her triple axle? Where's her stuff? But I think she's great. She's a beautiful skater, uh, has her own character. And even though she is quite young, she has a maturity quite beyond her years. She's my favorite of, of the Russian girls. Uh, she's, she's amazing. But uh, speaking of like actually kind of losing your triple axel and getting it back, like Tuk Timosheva, I think, is the star of this event, uh, the whole event. Uh, the dark haired empress herself. Uh, coming out here, uh, taking no prisoners, just showing you how it's done. Her triple axles are like, well, her like charisma and her skating skills and the maturity is what we're missing so often in Russian skating with the, you know, younger girls that have their own styles, but they're not steeped in any kind of maturity of themselves. So they look very cookie cutter often. Uh, you don't get that with Tukta She has she's her, her own brand. She's her own person. Uh, I think she's everybody's favorite, and I think we're all happy that she uh, 
uh, is on top. It can't be easy going from world champion to all of a sudden having these, you know, waves of young skaters that like, it seems like, you know, every year there's another wave coming at her. And then to, to be able to keep growing and to keep developing and not losing her faith in herself and then to come out and beat them the way she did is, you know, very commendable. It's weird that she's a dark horse because she is also, you know, just like them. She was landing triple axles at the age of 12. She competed at her first Russian senior nationals at 11. Um, she came on to the Grand Prix series at 13, won both of her events, like just came out of nowhere. She was a phenom too. Uh, and then, you know, world championships and then wasn't even on the world team for five years. Yeah. But consistently uh, meddling at her Grand Prix, always like showing up. She's always there in the background, it seemed. But she's always been like outspoken. I love her presence on Instagram. Uh, actually, after her win, she posted a quite a triumphant uh, Instagram post. Uh, caption: Job not finished. Hashtag trust the process. Hashtag trust the empress. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly I love her I love her so obviously a big name missing here uh Anna Sherbakova she was supposed to she was scheduled to compete but withdrew the day before citing illness uh, uh reports are claiming that she's suffering pneumonia um that's scary especially during what this a, time of COVID what like, illness is going around yeah um, a lot. And then as well as we also heard Medvedeva uh, also tested positive for COVID-19. So it's impacting so many of the skaters here. Um, well, we wish them a speedy recovery, obviously. Yes, of course. And that's the ladies. Dudes. These dudes are like really sick. They're it's like sick. so good, these dudes. You guys want to watch me like do quality oh, this stuff? Dudes. Hey, like, I'm like from Russia. <laughs> Moving on to the dudes, the bros, the bros teppies. We had uh, Kolyada in first, Pitalashvili in second from Georgia, and Peter Guminik from Russia in third. Dmitry Aliyev coming fifth. Interesting. So uh, let's just start with Kolyada because, again, to me, he was the story. Um, I just, that free, it is just, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Just the one mistake, the, the single axle instead of a triple. Um, but looking in fine form, looking really strong, and uh, I don't think anyone in Russia is going to touch him. I'm kind of looking forward to when he throws that quad lutz back in, uh, because it is arguably one of the best that's ever been done. Like you said, I'm really excited for that like lutz coming in, because the program is so beautiful uh his attention to detail every movement feels believable and it's like emanating through his soul i don't know what happened to him last year with the surgeries and the, taking the year off but he looks absolutely beautiful and but with the beauty of the program comes these like amazing jumps out of nowhere that just keep yeah. building it and i think when you add like a quad lesson to there uh and he would nail it it would just elevate the program even more there are some like things that I absolutely love. Uh, in his choreo sequence, he has this sharp look after a spread eagle and then goes into this jump into a skid three turn spiral. Uh, he's hitting every single musical cue. Uh, he got a level four in the step sequence and there's this part, I don't, I don't know why free skaters don't do a lot of inside loops uh, in their step sequences, but he does this inside loop into this uh, three turn body movement into this jump that hits a piece of the music that is like the, there's like a violin underneath and it sounds like the heartbeat of the violin is slowly dying, but he like hits it. Every time he does, it's like, ugh, right here. I. I loved everything about it. Big shout out to Ilya Averbuk, former world champion, uh, ice dancer for Russia. That Fabulous. program he created was beautiful. Uh, he looked like he was going to cry actually a little bit because I did. Um, I really don't even want to talk it, about the other men. It's, it's spectacular. <laughs> I just don't understand why in today's world with the amount of music we have, 
that these skaters are skating to the same things that have been skated to so many times, you know? Like, I get there are classics, I get there there's a look, there's a style, but there is so, even classical music, there's modern classical music. That, you know, I just, why are we, why are we doing the same thing over and over? It's not good for the sport, in my opinion. I think we need to stay current, we need to grow, we need to honor the, you know, the, the beauty of these iconic programs that were done to these iconic pieces of music and not dilute them by just like 500 people skating the same piece every year. It's just, I know this is a bit of a rant and I, and I am a big fan of Russian skating. I just, I don't understand why we are still doing the same over and over and over. And it just seems to be like almost the entire event. It's, it's because Andrew Lloyd Webber drops bars, bro. Like Prokofiev is that ish. Like he's like, you know, we just love to stay there. Uh, I, but I agree. I agree. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm down for Christine shacking up with a man she met in, uh, in the catacombs of a French theater. I'm tired of hearing it too. Um, <laughs> a strange man in a half mass tells you to like come sing for him. Like, I don't like, look at yourself look at your choices uh and same with you figure skating look at yourself look at your choices let's choose different music uh, <laughs> you are not chained to the panel of the opera no. <laughs> that's my rant that's my rant um I, all in all do, strong skating good event duly noted get some new music all right hopping on to the bears in first place boykova and kozlovsky second place machina galiamov and third place uh Penefilova and Rilov. and so uh, we'll start at the top. Boykova and Kozlovsky, you know, they skated well. They seem to be consistent and smooth, and, and they're doing what they do. They've improved since last season. I'm less like, oh, here's another team just doing lots of tricks and not skating. Uh, they're skating fast. They don't look at each other, really. Like, it, it's kind of cold. And I know I've said this. Uh, I think they did a great job. I think they have great qualities. It's just... For me, it's always like a little half-baked artistically. I also think they only have like one setting and it's like, start and then just go, 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 go. They're doing like some nice movement, some things like that. They're never in hold, but it's always just kind of one tone, no matter what the music is. Like I could put on the chicken dance and it would still be the same thing. Uh, very strong <laughs> team, exciting to watch, but it's just like, what's your, uh, like, I you need more gave me that connection. It doesn't always have to be like romantic, but there's like, her smile stays the same the whole time. It doesn't really change. There's no modulation. Like acknowledge each other, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Be like, oh, <laughs> you're out there lift. together. Yeah, thank you for throwing me and thank you for lifting me. Thank you yeah. for not. Uh, yeah. Thank you for landing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> you're welcome. Also her beginning pose uh, for her free program looks like that confused black girl meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm going to do a long now. Are uh, you going to play my music or what? <laughs> Dance at Ross Telecom. Uh, in first place, we have Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov. Taking second, Tiffany Zagorski and Jonathan Guerrero. In third, Anastasia Kokova and Krill Elishin. Big story here. Uh, is that Victoria and Nikita were healthy enough to compete. She's had a nagging, nagging knee injury. Um, uh, and then as well, we, their second, their actual competition, uh, Bukin and Stepanova are not here because uh, according to their coach, Arena Zouk, uh, almost everyone in their group has been sick and has caught COVID. Very scary, it's affecting everybody. I really hope everyone stays safe and uh, you know takes their health first for the sport. But, uh, Victoria and Nikita, uh, happy to see them back. They had to pull out of their uh, Russia Cup series uh, in the free uh, midway. Um, so good to see them here. I was really excited to see this program because it's supposed to be Michael Jackson and it's the free. Um, they looked really shaky, probably from not being on, but it was kind of disappointing. Like they use Smile like for 95% of the program. And then they jumped into uh, Michael Jackson's cover of Come Together uh, for like the choreographed sequence. And it was like maybe a flicker of like, 
you know, what we would typically want from an MJ program. There was like one little sad <laughs> pelvic thrust in the, <laughs> in the choreograph sequence. And that was literally it. There was like a moonwalk and a fake hat. Um, it was kind of disappointing. Uh, again, shaky program, their last lift. She didn't quite get up into the position. So it was just crotch to face and she was just hanging out for dear life and he just spun her around. Um, but again, glad to see that they're back. Hopefully it will grow more. Um, Cause I know they've had a rough go of it uh, leading into this, but um, they won <laughs> handedly. <laughs> they're one of the only teams to have beaten uh, Papadak Papadakis and Cicero in a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so uh, obviously yeah. they have, they have the capability and, yeah. you know, at least they, they weren't doing the Nutcracker or something. <laughs> and again, I really like this team because I like their style. So uh, maybe it'll grow more. And again, maybe I'm being too harsh. It's, they've only had a few times, uh, not too long to train, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. This event actually had real people. We started off with cardboard cutouts and now we actually had an audience uh, here in Moscow or there in Moscow. <laughs> um, and, you know, it was nice because you hear the energy of the crowd, especially like at the end of uh, Tuktimasheva's free program, like hearing the uh, but then at the same time, you realize that there's like 1,200 plus people in this building. Yeah, they tried to socially distance them by staggering the seating. So like one, one seat apart. Yeah, it's not six feet. No one wears their mask properly. Everyone has like a nip slip on their nose. It's just like everybody, like including the coaches. So although it felt really nice to like, for the, for the athletes to feel that energy, it's, you know, we're hearing so many of them come down with COVID Medvedeva, yeah. Shcherbakova, most likely the entire team of uh, of Stepanova and Bukin and everyone around them. It's it's really it's a real disease, and 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 they've been doing the test events with minimal people, but for this one in Moscow, which is actually the hardest hit area uh, for COVID nineteen, uh, it's like yeah, let's let's have people here. It's it's a little bit weird. And every country okay. has their own way of doing things, but it is, you know, concerning to see so many of these athletes, um, you know, having the virus or not being well enough to compete. I hope everyone stays safe. Everyone who wasn't able to compete this weekend uh, yeah. because of uh, whatever reasons, injuries or uh, sickness from this dastardly, dastardly Corona. She is Ugh. slaying the game. This, this one. Horrid, horrid. <laughs> But uh, anyways, that's our show. Let's end. That's end our end show. Nice that's our show. Positive, yeah. Positive note. We mm -hmm. had everything. We had sickness. We even <laughs> had a Russian hoodie. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. How it's many, part of, it's, how many it's, of these it's, hats do you have? No, this is the hood. This is just. This, oh, okay. Cool. This, this is a sweater. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you love Dylan's hat and you love our uh, banter and how we cover all these events, don't forget to subscribe, uh, click like, comment mm -hmm. below. What do you think of the event? Do it. Давай. Hurry up. Давай. Давай. Пожалуйста.